We're in uh, Council Bluffs uh, at the USS Cimarron's 20th reunion. Uh, why don't you uh, give me your name and uh, a little bit of background about your uh, connection with the Cimarron. Well, hi, I'm Ken DeGhetto. Uh, I actually, at the age of uh, 17, was in 1941, was accepted to the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy at King's Point. Uh, I did attend there, and they made the four-year course 18 months when the war started. Um, in fact, the summer of, uh, you had to have uh, six months of sea duty. I was aboard a merchant ship carrying war supplies to, uh, to Scotland, uh, uh, to Glasgow, and then uh, came back and then took another load of war supplies to Casablanca, came back to the academy. And then the study for my third assistant marine engineer's license, and you are naval reserve when I received my license in August of 43. The Navy needed engineering officers, and they activated me. I was 19 and a half years old, and commissioned men from the Navy and sent aboard the USS Cimarron. First, me as an A division officer, uh, which I saw with a, a technical problem that they had had with the midship pump since it was in 39. Due to my training at King Point, uh, and, and a chief engineer that had board one of the merchant ship I was on, and then I was a division officer, and then a division officer, and then a division officer, and uh, was on from 43 to after Okinawa, the end of about July 45, and was sent back and put the USS in the Connaughton Commission, being built for the Navy Yard in the war. Was there a gentleman by the name of Elwood that was one of your yes, mentors aboard the Cimarron? Uh, there was a chief, there was uh, a Mustang, as it was called. Uh, I was made a full lieutenant on the, in charge of one of the deck uh, and, and in charge of the fueling, and he came up with the idea of the cable between the ship uh, to hold the hoses when they were sliding back and forth and pull back and forth before the ship. Had a little bit of mechanical engineering. Um, the drawings, and I did all the drawings for them, and then it was submitted by Ellsworth through the formal channels, and unfortunately when it came back to the uh, three daughters like ourselves, he did not get credit for it, so the captain had his name on it. Actually, I did a little bit of uh, internet research and found Elwood's name mentioned in conjunction with the Cimarron. Oh, great. So there is still some persistent credit. Great. You may have corrected the uh, record somewhere along the line. So and then after the war, I left the Navy. Uh, did, I got married in, uh, during the Navy to my wife, Helen, who was still married this year. We'll be 65 years. Uh, we traveled a lot. Um, I got married on her first leave, came back aboard the Cimarron, uh, and then went back out to the war zone. She went back from Friendly, uh, Los Angeles uh, back to New Jersey by herself. And when I did leave the Navy, I, I really wanted to get a further education. I went to the Engineer Polytechnic Institute and got a mechanical engineering degree as a married student to GI Bill, paid my education, and it also gave us $75 a month if I'm not mistaken. Um, I was a good student and I wanted to study, and I continued doing that even at my age of 85. I still read my science when I get to it. I don't know what else you want to know, but... Well, I just happened to do a little quick profile after we met a couple of days ago, and I saw that you had your name connected to a campaign for the Merchant Marine Academy that was focused on morals, uh, ethics, and leadership. Right. Well, the United States Merchant Marine Academy is uh, uh, a model which uh, I'm trying to remember now. I'm sorry, Wayne, but I can't remember. It's three things that uh, have been uh, ethics and leadership. Uh, are I think the thing, in my case, uh, uh, they, you know, while it is a federal academy and a federal funds that don't usually pay for athletics and things, and when you have the big academies like the Naval and uh, Air Force, etc., they get 30,000 fans in the in a football game on King Point, not going to get a thousand, that doesn't pay for anything. So they needed to raise an, an endowment because the annual fundraising, um, uh, as the classes of the 40 started to die off, they decided they needed an endowment. They asked me to chair, uh, chair the, uh, the, uh, the campaign. 
that originally I was then chairman of Fort Stewart Corporation and a traveling agent and they really did quite extensively. And when the superintendent uh, was from the Cayman, they moved out from the Cayman. Well, as the music came up here, so... Yeah. Well, it's, anyway, I, uh, I first said I just couldn't do it because I'm so busy. And Tom said, before you say no, and he pointed at me and said, what were you before you went to King Point? I was a kid on the streets of New Jersey, and here was Jim and Fort Stewart. 